Hey there, good afternoon. I know it's been about a week, maybe about five or six days since I've brought a video to you guys, but my wax purchasing is slowing. It should have been zero this last month, but here we are. I cannot help myself with that smell good shop. Um, Wendy owns this shop. She, I've talked about it before. I just love the way her website is set up, the way she offers her wax and scented products, body products, how, home products. It's like, I think, I can't remember if I said it was like free range shopping. You can do whatever you want. She offers RTS of all of her products. Plus you can make any of them custom to whatever you want. It's, and if you don't find something, you can message her and she'll make it. Like she's, I don't know. I think she's great. Her website is great. There's always something on it. I like that. I like having a website where if I have a little bit of extra money or something, I can almost always go and pick something up. So this is actually an accumulation of two orders. One of them included customs. They weren't they weren't my customs. They were just scents that weren't offered in RTS that I wanted to try and have a larger amount of. And then I also have some scent cups and then a couple body products. This is the first time I'm gonna be trying her body products. So I'm excited about it. Um, well, first, we'll start off with, I can't remember which order this was, but she did send a sample of what have you done for me lately? And this is going to be offered in her June 30th restock. And this is blueberry and cotton candy. I'm not a blueberry fan, really. Especially that kind of blueberry, like really candy-ish blueberry. Sorry, that's really bright. Hopefully you can see that okay. So not a huge fan of that one, but it's just one little cube. So no worries. Okay, I'll start with the body products first. I think this was my RTS order. So one that I was really excited about was her leave-in detangling lotion spray for hair. Um, I got it in my favorite scent from the Smell Good Shop, Forbidden Lavender, which is crisp apple and herbal lavender. I wanted to smell this in my hair. So unfortunately, in shipping, this one leaked a lot. It ruined the uh, label. It didn't leak too much. I mean, you can see there's most of it still in there. And she ha I took the packaging off, but she packaged it really well. Like, I don't know if there was any other way she could have done it better. She had that, um, well, first of all, this cap wasn't on it. It came separately with a sealing cap. Plus she had that rubber sealing tape around it and it was bagged separately too. So it didn't ruin anything else in the bag. I really don't know how else she could have done it any better. The cap was on there tight. I don't know why it leaked, but it did. So you can see this label here was soaked and got kind of ruined. It's okay. The product inside still the same and it smells so good <laughs> if you have not tried forbidden lavender and you are a lavender or mac apple fan or a fan of both or you love like crisp fall scents oh my goodness you must try her forbidden lavender it is like some days i think oh that's a lavender scent and then some days i think that's an apple scent it's equally both and it's amazing. I have not tried this out, but I do use detangling and conditioning sprays of different sorts just on. So I bleach the, my, this uh, blonde in my hair. I bleach myself. I do myself and I have extremely oily hair, but on the ends from like about here down, my hair is blonde. And so after I wash my hair, which I only do about twice a week, I use a conditioning spray or treatment of some sort before it dries so that it keeps it more conditioned. So I'm gonna try this one out. Um, I'll update on my Instagram how I felt about this one. All right, the, another body product I got was her hydrating skin oil. And I got this in pineapple orchid. So I'm really excited to try this um, to see. I like some skin oils. Some, once again, I have very oily skin. So even my, my body, like my feet and legs, if I use something that is too hydrating or too occlusive to the skin, I break out. So I can't use like coconut oil on my skin. Absolutely not. Um, I've tried quite a few um, moisturizers and I have to use very light moisturizers or else my skin does is not happy. Um, so the ingredients on this one says that it's, let's see if we go down castor seed oil, grape seed oil, olive fruit oil, meadow form seed oil, argan oil, macadamia oil, jojoba oil, dimethicone, which is lower on the ingredients list. So sometimes dimethicone doesn't do super well on my skin. Um, rice bran extract, sunflower extract. So those, usually I do well with those. So we'll see. And this smells really good. The pineapple orchid. 
Um, it's not, it's, it's, it's not that sweaty pineapple. It's a very sweet pineapple actually with, um, a sweet floral with it too, but not super floral. It's definitely sweet. So I'm excited to try that. I will also update about this on my IG. Um, and it was two ounces. Okay. In my RTS too, I believe are these cups. I'm going to try to do it. This is just two orders together. Sorry if they're not separate, like separated appropriately, but so I had never tried velvet sugar and I wanted to give it a try. So velvet sugar is plum, musk, jasmine, and strawberry. It says, Mmm. Wow. And so you, someone will have to tell me, I don't know if this is a dupe for velvet sugar. Like it's just an oil that's been around a long time. Is it from Bath and Body Works? Is it just, Ooh, I like that. Definitely musky. I definitely smell plum and musk, maybe a touch of strawberry and a touch of jasmine. I, I feel like I smell it all. So, Ooh, I'm definitely gonna have to get more of that as like a year round scent. I like that a lot. The next one is Cranberry Delight. Sweet Cranberries is how it's described. Mm, it's candy cranberry. Yeah, it smells good, but it's more on that fruity. I like the tart, like realistic cranberry scent. And this isn't it. It's not bad. I'll mix it with something, but it's not my favorite cranberry. Next is Banana Nut Bread. I wrote on my IG yesterday, um, I was melting uh, banana nut muffins from Barrett's Wax Crafts. And I posted about why I don't melt very many banana bakery scents. And it's not because I don't like them. It's because I love banana bakery in real life so much, like banana bread, uh, banana cream pie, the, all of that kind of stuff that when I smell them, the sense that makes me so hungry. Rose Girls makes a banana bread carbs and it's probably my favorite bakery scent of all time, but I can't melt it very often because I will eat my whole kitchen. I'm not kidding. And this one smells really good. It has that touch of spice. It definitely has a touch of bread, but it does have that candy banana in it, which I'm okay with. It's not my favorite, but I, I mean, it definitely smells really good. So, oh, another banana nut bread. Fruit Loop. So I am just getting into cereal scents. I've had them in the past and they just weren't my favorite, but lately I've been, I've been digging them probably because they're very strong. Um, and fruity scents, I'm just starting to really like. So Fruit Loops is not my favorite cereal scent. I actually like Fruity Pebbles better. This definitely smells like Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops to me is more lemony, which is fine. But, um, Fruity Pebbles has more of a fruit variety to my nose. So this is really good. It smells just like Fruit Loops. It says fruity cereal goodness, vanilla drizzled icing, which is on the outside of Fruit Loops. So it smells really good. It smells exactly what it's supposed to smell like, and it smells very strong. Uh, this next one is called Scream Queens, Honeydew, Watermelon, and Taffy. So I got this one on a whim. I do not like melon in wax. It just turns my stomach in wax for some reason. Oh, getting little wax pieces all over the place here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to probably gift that to someone because it's already making my stomach turn. I love to eat honeydew. I love the smell of actual fresh honeydew, but the smell of honeydew and like cantaloupe and wax, I just, I don't know what it is. I just cannot do it. Another banana nut bread and another velvet sugar. So those were all my cups that I got with RTS. So next, I believe, oh, this is another RTS. You guys, she doesn't do many, or maybe we just bought them all out. I don't know. But her scoops, they're really small, um, 2.5 ounces, not very big. I hope she starts offering more and maybe in larger amounts because her scoopables are strong, like crazy strong. So this is in, uh, this was a scent I hadn't even tried, and I bought like six shot cups of it the very first time I ever bought it. I've bought more of it already, I believe, and this is a scoopable in it. It's Academy of Unseen Arts, crisp apple and eucalyptus. To my nose, this is green apple, but not the candy green apple. Like this is like a fresh cut in Granny Smith apple, not candied. And like, oh, a eucalyptus that is so mm, bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh, her scoopables are so good. I have it in a couple other scents as well. 
So good. She, I, I hope she does more because this is like worth gold. Like how strong this is, how condensed it is. Okay, so, oh, one more body product. It's kind of an interesting little bag here. This is like a soap scrubber saber bag. So I used to use body wash a lot. I don't anymore. I started to get a lot of like reactions on my skin from body wash. So now I just use the Caress Daily Silk Soap every day and I love it. It's been amazing. But once it gets, once your soap bar kind of gets down to like a small sliver, it slips out of your hands a lot. I feel like I end up wasting that last little bit. So the point of this bag that she sells is A, it's, it's it can exfoliate. But B, it helps to use every bit and lather even a tiny piece of soap that would be in here. So I think I paid like four bucks, maybe five bucks for this. I just thought it would, we'll see how it goes. I thought it would help me just use up that last bit of soap a little bit better. Okay, the last four things I have here were in customs. They are not my own customs. I like doing customs, like coming up with things, but I also really like what the vendors have to offer. So um, these were ones that I'm not sure if other people made them or if the vendor made them, but I like them a lot. So the first one that I was actually really kind of blown away that I liked was toasty mallow zucchini. So toasted marshmallows and zucchini bread. And this smells so good. I love zucchini bread. And it's not, the toasty mallow is not marshmallow fireside. I don't know why, but I wish I liked Marshmallow Fireside better. I feel like my nose, my sense is missing part of the smell or something because to me, it smells like a dampened campfire. Like I don't smell sweetness in it. I don't smell anything exciting in it, but everyone else loves Marshmallow Fireside and I just don't. But Toasty Mallow is a whole nother thing. And oh man, this, this, I'm so glad I got this and I think I might get more. It's not spicy. It's more of like a sweet, savory, sweet and savory bread, almost. This this is so good. And this is a 12 count pack, but it's four ounces of wax total. So in my, I have two hot plate warmers in my family room and kitchen. One has a little bit smaller plate and I usually put two in there. And then the one that has the larger plate, I'll put three. So anyway. There's that. So this was another one I just wanted to try. I'd seen it in her cups a couple times and I never was able to snag a cup and I just wanted to try it. So I was like, I'll just get it in a custom so I can try it. So it seems like it's always sold out. It's strawberry musk. So I have never smelt this, I don't think, in any vendor's wax. And it's, whoa, that's musky. That's like, like almost like a, like a body musk. I don't smell much strawberry, maybe on warm. Yeah. Sorry, my kids, my door's shut, but they're outside. Hmm. I like musk, don't get me wrong. I'll probably have to blend this with something. I don't smell any strawberry. <laughs> this smells like my dad wears this, um, like cream or something that he puts on him that smells like this, like really good musk. And this smells like it. I don't know, this smells like musk, not like strawberries to me. So we'll see. Then two just small six packs. Um, this one, I just want to try. This was another one in scent cups that I, every time I went to go give it a try, it was gone. Stay Puffed Man. Blueberry, strawberry, vanilla, and cotton candy. And don't ask me why I got it and I don't like blueberry. Every once in a while I like blueberry. Not this blueberry. This smells like really sweet candy blueberry. So I'll probably rehome this as well. I like... So I don't like hardly any blueberry. The one blueberry I really, really like is, um, I'm sorry if you can hear them out there. Uh, Bath and Body Works makes that blueberry maple pancakes uh, candle and that blueberry in that one is so freaking good. I could melt that candle all the time. All right, last one, Jack Frost. And her Jack Frost is menthol, eucalyptus, and vanilla. Love the color. And woo! Ooh, I like it. Whoa, it's like in my eyes. <laughs> that is menthol -y and eucalyptus-y, but I definitely get sweetness from the vanilla. There's a definite sweetness too, but ooh, you can taste it. I like that. Mm, that's like, I need more of that. This is not big enough for me. So anyways, that is it. That was my last two um, that Smell Good Shop hauls. 
I think I have more coming already. If not, I'm sure I will. Her stuff is just so affordable. And if you want to try something out, you don't have to spend eight bucks on something. You can spend a dollar, is it a dollar or a dollar 25 on a shot cup? And you can order as little or as much as you want. Shipping is $2.99 unless you spend over 30 bucks, which hello, we almost always do. And then shipping's free. So I feel like there's nothing holding me back from ever ordering from her, except that sometimes there's just stuff not available because people buy it out so fast. Um, but there's always something available. So I hope that makes sense. I love that Smell Good Shop. Whether I like the scents or not, her stuff performs so well all the time. Like her apple scents, like the Forbidden Lavender and the Academy of Unseen Arts, like 10 out of 10, I would say 11 out of 10, literally so strong. Her stuff is so good. Uh, just a vendor that I really love. And she's so kind and helpful on her Facebook page. She posts on Facebook and Instagram. She's just so easy to get to, easy to order from, and everything performs well, just super reliable. So anyway... I've blabbed on enough. I will keep posting and blabbing on from that smell good shop because it's amazing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay well and have a good day.